Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Uh, please check out the description box. Got a bunch of useful links down there. Also, I have a new uh, donation link down there if any one of you feels extra, extra generous. You don't have to, obviously. It doesn't really matter, but it's down there. And also links for all the other cool stuff. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, I'm pretty sick, so my voice might sound a little weird. But there are a few things I want to talk about in this video is that um, a few of you in the Discord really helped me out because you guys are all smarter than me. So you guys should have your own channels. But still, uh, a few of you are like, um, use forward declarations as well. It will help out with the compilation. And a forward declaration is basically any, any one of these um, classes that we're including. If I'm going to be using the class in here. I want to forward declare that class. So I'm just going to say class state, class GUI, class, whoops, class pause menu, class tile map, for example. So I'm just going to forward declare these here. Helps C and the computer and the compiler basically just understand that, okay, these classes are already defined and, and declared, and it just helps it find these. And properly, you know, um, include them. Also makes it a little faster for us. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to be honest with you how this works right now. I'm still looking at looking it up, but it's pretty simple. Uh, it has to do with the compiler and everything. But anyway, that is fine. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Cool. So we're going to keep working on the editor state. Now, what I want to do is that there are a few things when we create a state that we have to send in. We usually send in the window, the supported keys, the states. I want to create a little mini class in state itself, which is called state data. And we're just going to send that data as one big object in here instead of, instead of having all these parameters. And that will help me kind of create the state data object, um, make it a little easier. Because to use the editor state, I want to have a set grid size for the game. As soon as you create the game and start the game, it should always have a fixed grid size that you can use. And the game will always be run on that grid size. And grid size is very important in this case. So uh, let us get started here. So I'm just going to go ahead into state in here. And here, for example, so everywhere where I go in, I'm just going to update it with forward declarations. Okay, you don't have you can do this by yourself everywhere. Um, but I'm just going to do it everywhere where I um, uh, like that everywhere where I find it basically that I haven't done it. So I'm going to go and do that. Uh, eventually I'll, I'll update everything, but for now I'll just do it everywhere. I see. Uh, so I'm going to do this and boom, boom, boom. Now the States, I want to be able to create a struct basically do we want to start we could just use a class it doesn't really matter class state uh state data i'm just gonna call it state data uh you, public on everything doesn't really matter we don't really need a super constructor here or anything um state data like that it's not gonna be anything special so now i'm gonna look at what states usually require and I know we're not really working on the, uh, what do you call it, on the uh, editor state right now, as of as of right now. But that's just because I want to make sure we can do this grid size thing before. And then at the same time, make it a little more nice and compact. Uh, variables. And I could just update this state data class if I want to have more objects or more data. Uh, let's see. State, right? Uh, so I'm just going to copy paste these and I'm going to just paste them right into here as soon as it stops uh, loading uh, right there. And I know this might be a little pain in the booties in a booties, but trust me, it will be worth it. So uh, state. Um state states and then we got the support keys and then we got a window pointer so a bunch of pointers basically uh, and then we're gonna need a 
a uh, should we keep it afloat grid size we'll keep it afloat basically uh, and this is a data object which we'll be able to send around everywhere so now I have to see what else there is uh, window support key states let's go into st uh, the game state game state let's see when we create something like this you want to just think how we're going to do it so we're going to do a state um, this object we're going to send it in okay basically basically looks fine grid size as well so let's start here let's go where are you going where are you going nuts oh that's the regular bullshit that we're dealing with so we don't have to think about that right here i just want to do state data um reference state data okay so i'm just gonna do a little reference here and there's gonna be one state data class pretty much i think this should work why should this not work do we ever send in anything else let me see main menu state graphics settings okay cool then we can send the graphics settings as well graphics settings a just a little pointer to that so we're gonna be we're gonna be playing playing around with this a bit before we really get it to work so let's just go in a state dot h here and let's just um let's just put the graphics settings in here as well but we're not gonna do it as a reference we're just gonna do it as a pointer like that and then obviously state data uh, obviously this is going to be complaining so we're going to do this going to probably take a few videos to to switch everything up state data now we can do state data dot window yes okay that is the pointer itself so i'm just going to do state data just copy that put it in here put it in here state support keys key time max all that stuff and then state is probably gonna have to hold we'll quit pause key time max probably it's gonna have to hold a float uh, grid size okay and then we're just gonna do this grid size equals grid size so it's gonna hold all that data for us and that's going to be beautiful, beautiful. Um, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Shouldn't be any problems there. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that off for now. Make sure that looks okay. So let's just go ahead and fix all these states as we go. How much time do we have? Uh, anyways, okay, so it's going to take a little while. But let's just start off. Let's give it an example here. So game state. Basically, the first state that is pushed in game.cpp is not game state, is it? It's main menu state. So main menu state is the first state that is pushed. And that means that game.h, just like it has a GFX setting, it's going to need a state data. Uh, state data, okay? So it's going to have to require that state data thing here. And we're going to send it in with every state data. So I'm going to create a little... Um, a little void init state data thing here and we can't forget to call that so we need to open the game.cpp as well right here and that is going to be called in the constructor I'm pretty sure right here this init state data um, and you probably want to do that before yeah after you do all the other in it so you want to init the state data and then init the states so let me just put that in order so we remember okay and then we have the state data as well uh, and if we define in its state data 
we should be able to let's see initialize all those settings so in its state data right here cool so let's just do this before we move on to the next video this state data dot window equals this window this uh, graphics settings gfx settings equals this gfx settings oh you don't want to do this here you want to do state data dot gfx settings and what is that that is a pointer and this is a object so boom well, this is a pointer okay good um this state data dot supported keys equals this supported keys reference as well so I can, i'm kind of using this as a cheat here um this ah god damn it this states no state data dot states this uh, states and a reference as well now we're gonna need the grid size we don't really have a set grid size here but we probably do want to have a float grid size here which will be loaded in some way but uh, that grid size is hard coded here this grid size equals let's just say 50.f for now as a float value and that will be set and sent in to this state data object where the hell was it again state data right here so this state data dot grid size equals uh, this grid size okay not a reference is that's just a copy we could have a pointer to it though but it doesn't really matter we'll just copy it and then we can just send the yeah just send the state data basically we can get everything we need in the uh state that receives this object now we won't be able to run this just yet but uh it's a good way good start anyway um to start off, we're probably going to have to change the main menu state, CPP and H. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'll do that in the next video, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Um, this might be a little boring and a pain in the booty. But I promise you it will help later when we add more stuff to send to each state. So there you go. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.